Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to track changes and collaborate in a Word document. Word has a great built-in digital feature that will allow us to see, accept, or reject changes that somebody made to our document. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So we're inside of Word here, and this is my article explaining why I believe DaVinci Resolve is better than Premiere Pro or Final Cut. Let's say I send this off to a colleague and I want them to review it to find any inconsistencies or maybe parts that they feel are not very persuasive. First, let's assume the role of the person who's editing the document. We're gonna be mostly utilizing a tab called Review. Once we're here, we're simply gonna click the Track Changes button. We could also hit the keyboard shortcut there that's showing us, which is Control Shift E. Another way we can actually enable this is in the top right corner. We have the editing mode, which is what we're doing now, or we can switch it to reviewing here, which is the same as the track changes mode. So we wanna make sure that this says reviewing and this little box will be highlighted as well. Let's say I'm going to suggest replacing this with great. So I'm just gonna type great and we can see that the recommended deleted word is now crossed out and the recommended added word is actually underlined. <clears throat> so this is an easy way to see our suggestion and this won't actually impact the document until whoever is reviewing it approves or denies it. Maybe I wanna add some additional information here. This is the company that makes DaVinci Resolve Blackmagic. Let's go ahead and continue to mark this up a little bit. Okay, so I've added a few other suggestions to the document. Now let's assume that I'm the person who wants to review or accept these changes. This part is gonna be very easy as well. One thing that may help is to show the markup. So if we click under show markup, again, we're still on the review tab. We can hover over this thing that says balloons. And the first option is show revisions in balloons. This is gonna make it a little bit easier to see, first of all, who made the change and what they've actually done. And so in order, scrolling down, again, we can see the suggested revisions off to the side in our right pane. Now, luckily it's very easy to accept these changes. We also have buttons here that will allow us to go to the previous or next revision. All right, let's go ahead and accept this one. And I actually wanna reject this one. Let's say I wanna read through the document at this point, even though I still have some edits to review. If we drop this menu down, we can actually show no markup. However, it's important to note that this mode will actually not reflect the changes that we have yet to address. Let's go back to all markup and we'll continue reviewing our document. All right, let's go ahead and accept this change. I'll accept this one. I'm going to reject this one and I'll accept this one. All right, and once you're done, you'll see something that says this, there aren't any tracked changes in your document. So now we can go back into the editing mode and our revisions are complete. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it. If you have any questions about any parts of this video, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. You can find those links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have an idea that you'd like to see made into a video, we strongly encourage you to let us know what that is down below. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.